Imagine living in a society where every action you make, from paying your bills to how you behave on the subway, could affect your everyday life. Welcome to China's social credit system. Intriguing, isn't it? This system is China's ambitious project to manage both individuals and businesses by assigning them a social credit score. It's not just about financial credit, no, it's much more encompassing than that. The system monitors, rates and regulates a wide range of behaviours from jaywalking to tax evasion, from online shopping habits to academic integrity, but how does it work? Well, it's like an intricate web of surveillance that meticulously records your actions, converting them into data points that feed into your unique social credit score. And this score, my friends, can either open doors or slam them shut. So, what happens when citizens fall foul of this system? Let's delve into some real-life case studies. Meet Mr. Zhang, a Beijing resident who was once a frequent traveler. In the past, he used to jet-set across the globe exploring exotic locales and immersing himself in different cultures. But that was before he fell foul of China's social credit system. You see, Mr. Zhang had an outstanding tax bill which he had been ignoring for a while. The result, his social credit score plummeted and he found himself on the wrong side of the system. Suddenly, he was barred from purchasing plane tickets, his wings clipped by his own financial negligence. The world that was once his oyster was now out of reach, all because of his low social credit score. Now let's turn our attention to a different case. Meet Miss Liu, a single mother striving to provide her daughter with the best education possible. She had her heart set on a house in a top-rated school district. But there was a snag. Miss Liu had a habit of jaywalking, a small infraction that she didn't take seriously. However, the social credit system did. Her repeated fines for jaywalking led to a decline in her social credit score. Consequently, she found herself unable to rent a house in her desired school district. The dream of a better education for her child was thwarted by a seemingly minor disregard for traffic rules. These stories of Mr. Zhang and Miss Liu are not isolated incidents. They are part of a larger narrative that illustrates how the social credit system in China can impact everyday life. These penalties aren't just about limiting luxuries or privileges, they reach into the minutiae of daily life, affecting where you can live, where you can travel, and even where your children can go to school. As we can see, the consequences of a low social credit score can be far-reaching, impacting various aspects of an individual's life. China's social credit system is indeed a complex web of rewards and penalties, as we've seen from Mr. Zhang and Miss Liu's experiences. It's a system that intertwines government policy, societal norms and personal behaviors, creating a unique and intricate social structure. The system rewards good behavior like paying bills on time while punishing transgressions such as jaywalking or spreading misinformation online. But it's not just about infractions and rewards. This system can significantly impact a person's life, affecting everything from their ability to secure loans to their children's school admissions. And for travelers, it can influence visa applications or even the ability to book a hotel. Understanding and navigating this system is crucial. It's not about gaming the system, but about being a responsible individual, respecting the rules and contributing positively to society. Knowing the rules of the game is the first step to not falling foul of China's social credit system. A China's social credit system, a unique blend of surveillance, public shaming and penalties, is a reality for its residents and visitors alike. It's a world where your actions, big or small, can have far-reaching consequences. As we navigate through this intricate web, it's imperative that we arm ourselves with knowledge and understanding. If you're planning to visit the Middle Kingdom or engage in any business dealings there, take the time to understand this system. It's not just about avoiding penalties, it's about appreciating a different perspective on societal order and personal responsibility. It's a different world out there, but the principles that guide it are universal. Respect for laws, consideration for others, and a sense of personal responsibility. Cultivating these habits can help you navigate not just China's social credit system, but any societal structure you encounter. Cultivating good habits and being a responsible citizen can go a long way, not just in China, but in any part of the world.